Welcome everyone. Today I'm here with a video about the cost of living in the United States of America. By understanding the cost of living in the United States, we'll answer the question, where do most migrant people live? If you, you are migrating to US, which states or which cities it is better for you to go to live? Even if you are not a migrant, you are born and raised here, what are the good areas you can afford to live? So you can see the picture on the screen here. It gives you top reasons as to why Americans aren't saving money anymore or they're not saving more money at all. There are different reasons have been given but I will be concerning on reason, uh, the one in yellow, which says I have a high cost of living. It is 18% of this, 100%, so 18%, it is because of the high cost of living. Yes, there will be a low salary, there are other factors, but the bigger one, I mean, one of the part of the big one is the high cost of living. So where do you suppose to live in the United States so that you can be able to lower down the cost of living? Or when we talk of cost of living, which particular aspect we are really focusing? I'm giving you another chart here. And this percentage chart is showing you the average urban cost of living here in the United States. And this is the government document which shows uh, is the source from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. So they give you in urban education, apparel, communication, recreation, medical, food, transportation, other goods and services, but you will see 42% goes to housing. In that case, when it comes to say I have a high cost of living, basically there are other things they'll be looking about all other things but you have to know what will be the biggest cost for a person to live in america or even in other countries will be the housing welcome everyone my name is ernest bonfas macurillo ebm and i welcome you to the ebm scholars show uh, in case you haven't subscribed please take the time uh, to hit the button subscription and you're going to be able to uh, watch more videos and get notification when I'm posting the YouTube videos. I really appreciate those who have been able to subscribe and watching every time I'm posting my YouTube videos. So, as you can see today, here I have the urban cost of living, which is housing. So, and if you want, I can give you the map of America. Here the map, the US map. Let's quickly go to the US map. And in the US map, we can be able to determine or just to show you when I'm, I'm talking about the cost of living, I'll be able to uh, use also the map to explain to you. Uh, there are certain places which are very, very expensive compared to other in general. And I'll go to show you when we say the cost of living, special housing, I want to show you apartment how how much do you need to pay the rent is it which will cover his cost of living and secondly uh we'll so we'll, we are going to see uh the if you want to purchase uh, a home to get a mortgage uh i will look like a few states or a few cities and they can make some sort of comparison you can be able to see i had the opportunity to live like in three or four states I lived when I came to America back in 2008, I lived in West Virginia. So West Virginia, this is West Virginia, is a state nearby Virginia. So here is West Virginia. So you can see this is West Virginia. So West Virginia is a very among the poorest states in America. The top five poor states or very low cost of living in the US among those one is West Virginia. I lived for one year, then I moved, I moved to the greatest state of California. This one, all this one is California. 
I, and I, I lived in San Diego and then I came to live uh, at the Ventura country, which is just like across by uh, Los Angeles. So here. And then now I moved, I came to live in Kansas City. So I lived in the state of uh, state of Kansas, but now I live in Missouri, but it still is within what we call Kansas City. So uh, now I live uh, in the Kansas City. Uh, yes. So what are the differences? So when you look at uh, the, for instance, California, California is one among the most expensive states in America. So there is California. Then, apart from California, we have uh, obvious Maryland, we have New York, uh, we have northern part of Virginia, we have a little bit of Boston, uh, then in New Jersey. Uh, when you come to uh, Illinois, it will be more about Chicago part is more expensive, but if you go out of Chicago, uh, it's a little bit better. And obviously, when you go to Hawaii, those are the most expensive, uh, most expensive states uh, or areas to live. But apart from that, then most of the states, if you come to, I, I understand when you go to Washington, Seattle, for instance, there are places that will be very difficult to live. If you go to DC, it will be very expensive. But if you come to most of the Midwest states, Wyoming, South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri, Kansas, Kentucky, uh, Tennessee, Arkansas, uh, Oklahoma, Texas, Mississippi, Louisiana, all these states are very affordable states. But if you go a little bit in Nevada, you go to, uh, that is a little bit expensive. Arizona is a little bit affordable. Uh, if you go to Florida, is more expensive because in Florida there is no snow. The weather is just like in tropical Africa. If you go to, if you go to uh, California, the same. Arizona is desert, so it's not like uh, like other places. And then uh, if you go to Hawaii, it's also more expensive because also weather is also uh, contributing to that. So that is something I want to show. Just overall, you have to know the map of America or US in general in particular, and what does that mean? So here I want to show you, uh, they show you it is uh, also the uh, information uh, from the Censor Bureau for uh, Censor Bureau, US Censor Bureau, uh, from 2010 to 2018. And this one shows where do the five, uh, they, uh, they give the exact number of migrants. Uh, if immigrants come to America, where do they prefer to stay? And then they give, when it comes to percentage wise, where do they stay? So when it comes to the absolute growth, uh, from 2010 to 20, uh, 2010, 2000 to 2010, then California was number one, then Texas, then followed it by Florida, New York, and Illinois. So this is the number of immigrants came to America and stayed in those particular states. From 2010 to 2018, Florida, Texas, California, Washington, Massachusetts. If you can see, there is a big change. There is a big change from California from number one from 2000 to 2010 versus to 2010 to 2018. Many people are moving away from California. They go to other states. That is what it, 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 it looks like. So California is number three to move it from 1.2 million to almost 47600, almost less than a half a million. Uh, New York is not even in top five again because many people are moving away. Uh, from those areas. Illinois is not there again. So those you can see, people are moving into the more expensive states and move to another places. For instance, myself, I was in California uh, from 2008, uh, 2009, but 2016, I moved it to Kansas and Missouri area. So when it comes to the percentage wise, and when it's, you see the percentage wise, there are, these are states because California, it is a very big state. It has over almost nearby 40 million people, 37, 38 million people. So when you say like this increase is a small percentage compared to some of the states where they have a small number of immigrants, when immigrants come, many of them, it bring a bigger percentage. So in the percentage wise, you see 2000 to 2010, Alabama, South Carolina, Tennessee, Arkansas, Kentucky. So these are in the 2000, 2010. All these are very cheap or affordable states. Then if you come to 2000, 
2010 to 2018, North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, uh, Delaware, and Iowa. So this you can see, all these 10 states, whatever I'm putting here, they are a little bit uh, affordable uh, compared if you're going to California, Florida, Illinois, uh, Hawaii, in those states. So I want to show you uh, a little bit like one of the things here, I just decided to make it two compa comparison of cost of living as a calculator. Uh, and this one is going to show you the cost of living in the city of, uh, I'm using two cities. One, I use Kansas City, Missouri, where I live, and versus San Diego, where I lived in California. So you can see, they give the example. In Kansas City, if you have in Missouri, Kansas State, uh, Iowa, whatever, in this state, if you have the salary of 50,000, that will be a very good salary to survive this kind of life. But if you go to California, this salary should increase up to almost double, 96, almost 97,000 uh, in California. And this, they are giving the breakdown, for instance, like the food, housing, like whatever, medium cost, they give you all these kind of co like utilities. They give everything. What makes the difference when you are going to look these two be, uh, two cities? You can go and look all these kind of things. But let me go to give you some of the examples, which are very very particular. So this is. Let me start with San Diego, California. San Diego, California. So San Diego, California. I'm looking for apartments. Let me give you an example. Uh, let me say I'm looking for uh, just one bedroom. That's what I'm looking. So you will see the price of uh, the rent for one bedroom. Most of these prices, minimum is, it depends on the prices from 1,800, 1,000. You see, this is the price. It is very, very expensive, depending on the nature of the apartments. So these are, it depends on where, basically where you live if they are uh, like, up, like this is a one bed apartment. So it depends where you live, but the, you see the cheapest one you can get will be like 1,200 maybe, but this you see, this is the average, the price for the uh, most of the apartments in San Diego, California. It is very, very expensive. Let's go and look uh, maximum, uh, uh, let's say we are looking for minimum two bedrooms, Maximum, let's say, just let's say go two bedrooms. So if you look for two bedroom, you will see it's starting from 2,200 in 3,000. At the time I lived in, in, in California, in San Diego, I used to pay 1,885. Uh, so almost 2,000 uh, at that time. But you see the price is like, this is uh, the price where you can be able. So minimum is about 2,000 when you are looking for apartments in those areas. But let's go and look like, for instance, Overland Park in Kansas City. So this is two bedroom. So you see two bedroom here is just 1,000. But two bedroom, so this is just like 900 two bedroom. I lived in three bedroom apartment uh, in, uh, in here. Uh, in Kansas, when I moved here, okay, let me, so, sorry, this is still two bedroom, let me go to three bedroom, uh, no, I want exactly minimum to be three bedroom, not, 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 not two, so you see three bedroom, you will still pay 1,200 to 2,000. The difference will be, let me show you these kind of homes. Uh, so these are very, very nice apartment. In California, this apartment, you are going to pay 2,000, I mean, almost 3,000. Uh, this is like, uh, if you look for the floor plan, kind of that way. So, the difference will be usually they, they give you like a small difference like uh like uh, okay so three bed two bedroom this is the amount uh the number of bathrooms is what is changing 
So if you want a three bedroom, two bathrooms, you can pay up to this amount, just like uh, depending on which one, which one you prefer. But what I, I said, I said you three bedroom for almost 1000 in Overland Park, which is also a very, very nice area uh, here in Kansas. But let me go uh, put, uh, let's say New York City. Because the problem is many people, when they want to come to America, oh, I want to go to New York. So see, this is a three bedroom, 7,000. Let's go, let's say one bedroom. And most of the time you'll get even a studio. So you see one bedroom, 3,000, that's New York, 5,000. Like, it's just like you can get like at least, if you get the nice one, it's very, very expensive to live or to live a uh, type. Let's say you find like, uh, most of the time you will get like a studio, uh, like, yeah. So forget about that. Let's go to, if you want to buy a house, let's go to zero. And let me put uh, San Diego again, California. And I will show you various places. So this home, for instance, if you look at this home, is not that big home is almost 800,000. So this home, let me make sure you can see the pictures and I will show you it is almost, it is a, okay, it's big inside, but like, but you'll see this, you see this amount of the price of this house. Then we can see some other homes. This one is three bedroom. They are not that, and I will show you the same house kind of this one, how much will it cost if you go to live in Texas, if you go to live in Ohio, if you live in Kansas City, if you live in Kentucky, if you live in other places, what will be the cost? So this one is almost 700,000. It's not that like, they, they are not like, I mean like, it's just like you see, there is no backyard. That's the, that is the, from the, from the wall of the house, uh, like up to the end is, there is no like, let me go to look from the back. You can be able to see there is no backyard like like anything like kids. You come out outside the door is the wall is like it's a very tiny, tiny, tiny homes. So you see like how it is. Uh, OK, so you see like this one is a half a million home is a very small home. But this home, if you bring it, this home in Missouri, if you bring this home in Kentucky, you bring this home in Texas, this home you cannot even pay for 100,000. But here is a half million. You will see all these homes at the end, if I go back way, there will be no like place you can have like, uh, like, uh, like you see, there is no even a very nice backyard. It's just like from here, this is the end, that's over. Then, so let's go to find, let's say, home, let's say, uh, sorry, uh, let me find like the homes, let's say put Kansas City or Belton, where I live in Belton, Missouri, Belton, Missouri. So I want to show you, see the home in, in San Diego versus this home is just 95,000. But in California, you see how this home is and you have more space. You see, you can have a big backyard, but that will be number one. For instance, I'm giving you an example. Let's say you want to have like the home. Uh, this home is three, 300,000. It is a very nice home. In California, this home, it will be uh, almost more than a half a million. But here is just, it's just like kind of this one. You can have still a very nice backyard the entire house just like this way. You see how big you can get the price of land. And what does this mean if you want to pay as a mortgage? If you have to pay a mortgage, this one you pay estimate is 1,600 per month. But if you, you want to, to stay in California, that is where you are going to get uh, very confusing, confusion. See the home of a half a million, how big it is here in Kansas. Uh, uh, or in Missouri. Let me show you the backyard. You see, 
you can see how big this home is just from outside. This is when you, you come to live in the outside of these bigger states. So if you want to live in California, you want to enjoy, okay, to be in, nearby Hollywood, you can do that. But in the end, you will not have this kind of backyard. You cannot have this big press, this kind of land. So a half a million home here, you are just a superstar. This is what you, you want uh, if you want to live in a normal state. And by mortgage, remember, you are going to pay for... Uh, uh, you are going to pay uh, for, so this is built on. Let's say, let's put uh, another city, for instance. Okay, uh, sorry. Okay, so rent, let's put uh, Houston. Texas. I want you just to see, uh, this home is 189,000. Compare the homes with San Diego or California, meaning you'll be able to pay a monthly basis at least 1,146 per month for 30 years, and you'll get this kind of nice home. With this kind of space, uh, let me go, if I go back way, you can be able to see, uh, you can be able to see, uh, you can have a very nice home, kids can have a place to play. So this is how, when you want to choose the home, where, which state do you want to, to live? Uh, you have to consider all these factors. Do you want to live in California, just the matter of living in California, or you want to go to a normal affordable state and just, just enjoy the life? Let's say, let's get, say, let's say, for instance, you want to live in, uh, let's say, Cincinnati, uh, Ohio. So you can see when the home is 600, how big it is compared to 600, almost 600,000 in, in, if you go to California, for instance. You see how the home, how the big place are. You can find a very, very nice big homes for this kind of price. So when you want to live, to have the American dream, my advice, get out of these big states like New York, California. I understand sometimes the nature of your job will make you live in those states. I lived in California for eight years, almost nine. In those kind type of life, I, could, I, I cannot afford to buy a house. So let me show you a uh, quick way. Let me show you. Uh, okay, let me show you. Uh, my home, for instance. Okay. Uh, Belton. So, uh, so this is, uh, this is the, the, like the neighborhood I live. So, so this is the home uh, currently, uh, this is our neighbor. I'm not showing you my home, but I want to give you just like the example. Uh, this is the home of our neighbor, for instance. Uh, so this is our neighbor. You see the, this is the house, how it is. So the floor is just uh, almost the same like our house, kind like. So, but if you look at this home, the price of this home uh, was sold for 137000 around this amount. So the average you'll be paying on a monthly basis is less than 800 per month. And you just have this kind of home. So that is uh, like the homes nearby where I live. Yeah, so you can see nearby the home, this is uh, the street I live. So you can see uh, this kind of homes, uh, how big they are and how beautiful they are. You can have bigger space. You have all this, all this area is your backyard, but you cannot have this land in California. You cannot afford this one. You see, 
you cannot afford that kind of land in California or this big, uh, how big it is. How much it is, it is 108,000. So if you get as a mortgage, you'll pay 897 per month for 30 years. So this is kind of like, why do you need to get out of these big states and you are going to get frustrated? But sometimes some people, they have certain kind of jobs which you need to live in California. Let's say you are IT, you have to live with the uh, to get paid a lot. But as I said, sometimes you need to get a lot of money. But when it comes to the minimum jobs, the, the, the cost, I mean, the salary, can, you can get the same salary. For me, I can get the same salary from, with the same one, someone in California. If you get the minimum dollar job, the price, I mean, like the, if you go, for instance, indeed.com, uh, you look for jobs. Let me give the example to make it easier for you. Uh, let's say I'm finding the jobs in San Diego, for instance, California. Let me give you just an example. And let's say find uh, general labor. Let's find general labor and we'll see what will be the salary of most of these kind of uh, warehouse processor. Let's see if they put the salary. The, the minimum uh, the minimum would be, they put it, they made a mistake, it's just uh, uh, 10, it's $15 per hour. So this one, for instance, water technician is around this amount. Uh, let me uh, zoom, make it bigger. So you see most of these jobs, uh, the salary is the same. Warehouse associate, the salary will be a $15 per hour. These are, and you live in California. I, I lived in Chula Vista. I lived in this area. Uh, parking, whatever you do, uh, parking specialist, mostly in warehouse, will be 40 to $16 per, per hour. So, but the same salary you'll be getting, the same uh, salary you'll be getting uh, Kansas City, Missouri, for instance. Most of the, most of the time, the same, uh, you see, the same salary will be 13 to $15. 14 to 16 dollar uh, working at FedEx uh, warehouse all shift 15 to 16 dollar 15 to 20 dollar so the point is even if you do the minimum dollar job uh, distribution center they didn't put the salary so the same amount the salary 15 dollar warehouse associate it is the same around but you can get paid the same salary let's say you are working you get 15 dollar per hour so 15 dollar per hour Per, per week you work 40, 40, 40 hours, so per month you get 2,400, but you live in California. How can you survive to live in California with this kind of money, 2,400? So you have to make, to, make, to make two jobs so that you can get at least 4,000 nearby 5,000. But the same amount you can live in, in, in Missouri, you can live in Ohio, the same can get $15 per hour. So get out in those parts of states. Don't come here with the mindset that I have to go to live in California. I have to live in Missouri. I have to live in uh, these kind of states. In the end, you just don't think that living in these big states is just like a reward, uh, like you are going to, 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 to enjoy by being in those kind of areas. Sometimes that one is not uh, helping you at all. Yeah, so this is something you need to you need to consider yourself. So uh, let me show you uh, my home. So this is my home. Uh, the price of this home is about this one, around one seventy five. So you can pay around this one per month. So this is the, the home, this is where I live. So, but I cannot have this home. If this home is in California or is in New York, is in New Jersey, is in Hawaii, it is, you can pay almost a million. So I want to show you how this, uh, sorry. I want to show you uh, how this home uh, looks like, uh, like how big it is, the house itself. This is the, where I live, this is where I live. I have this backyard. This you can have kids, can you play around and do things. But you cannot have this kind of home. Now I'm talking to you, I'm in this room. This is the room, it's not a room now, it's just my office where um, I put is my office where I usually record my videos. This is the room. 
So this is where I mean like you need to get out. You cannot have this kind of home, California, and you pay less than 1 million or 700,000 or to be in the bigger state. But now I can afford this house because I, if you say it is now off the market, but the average price is around this amount, uh, 175, almost 176,000. So those are the things you need to consider when you want to live in which kind of state. Uh, do you want to live just a name? I live in California. I don't have uh, snow. I want to live in Florida. I live in New York City. Or I want to live in a state where I can be able to afford. Kids can play, can enjoy, and you can live without too much stress. So that is what I want to share with you. Consider yourself when you where you want to live. Do you want to live in the poor state, uh, cheaper state, uh, but have happy life? America is America. Whether you live in New York, whether you live in Missouri, whether you live in Alabama, Walmart is Walmart, McDonald's is McDonald's, uh, Amazon is Amazon. The same store is, is the same store. So don't get frustrated or confused. I have to live in bigger state to tell someone, oh, I live in Manhattan while you are stressing out every single day. Come here, live American dream. I'm happy that I made the decision to get out from California and come to live in Kansas, Missouri area, and I was able to purchase the home, which I can be able to afford. But if I live in California, even for the next 20 years, I might not have uh, ability to uh, get this kind of home. So that is what I want to share with you, the cost of living in the US, but most importantly, uh, the housing part, which is going to be the biggest part of the cost of living, and the, why many people are not able to save more money in America because of the high cost of living in America in general. So that's what I want to share with you. I'm sorry it is a longer video, but it is a very, very good video, very good insight for you to know the cost of living and where you need to live. And if you come here as a student, if you are coming here as uh, green card holder, whatever, something like that, you can move to another state. It doesn't mean that you have to leave the same state because you arrived in that state and be comfortable and just get stressed out every single day until you get old in America. So thank you, thank you everyone for your continued support of the EBM Scholars channel. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and enjoy everyone about the cost of living and saving money in America.